The heart is an amazing organ. It's the all-star player, beating 100,000 times per day and keeping five liters of blood circulating in our bodies at all times. But just like any athlete, when the heart is damaged or under strain, it can't function properly, impacting its ability to fill or pump blood as it should. Transthyretin, TTR for short, or prealbumin, plays a crucial role in the transport of vitamin A and thyroid hormone. Transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy, or ATTRCM for short, occurs when TTR falls apart. Misfolds and the smaller pieces then clump together, forming amyloid fibrils which can deposit in the heart, causing it to become thick and stiff and impacting its ability to function properly. Left untreated, the disease can have a devastating impact. It can affect the heart, leading to arrhythmias and conduction system diseases, as well as causing effects outside of the heart. Other organs can also be impacted by the disease, including the kidneys. To understand this disease a little better, let's look at what a good TTR protein does. Imagine our TTR protein as a tiny, diligent worker carrying thyroid hormones and vitamin A in the blood. But sometimes genetic mutations or aging can unsettle these workers, causing them to fall apart and misfold forming toxic amyloid fibrils, which build up in the heart muscle. These amyloid deposits lead to the thickening and stiffening of the heart's walls. Eventually, the heart is unable to properly relax and pump, resulting in diastolic dysfunction and heart failure. This disease takes a heavy toll on patients. Imagine constant fatigue, a heart struggling to keep rhythm, shortness of breath, swelling in the legs and frequent hospital visits. Some patients experience spinal stenosis, numbness in hands and feet, and carpal tunnel syndrome. These clinical signs can act as red flags, as they can occur years before the development of heart failure, which then continues to progress and worsen. And for many, life expectancy can be shortened significantly. There are two main causes of ATTRCM with various subtypes. The first is the variant with over 130 identified variant mutations. It can start earlier and progress faster and has a median survival rate of 2.5 years if left untreated. The second is wild type, formerly known as senile systemic amyloidosis, which often appears and progresses in older age. This type of ATTRCM is an increasingly recognized cause of heart failure and has a median survival of about 3.5 years. Both subtypes of ATTRCM lead to cardiomyopathy. Spotting ATTRCM can be challenging. With symptoms mimicking other heart diseases and awareness of ATTRCM low among healthcare teams, misdiagnosis is common. On average, patients wait 39 months before being diagnosed. Affecting an estimated 400,000 people worldwide, the true prevalence is unknown and may be higher. Timely diagnosis and treatment are key to treating ATTRCM patients. Cardiovascular disease is an urgent global health challenge and needs to be a priority on all agendas. At Bayer, we embrace the challenge of progressing science to improve the world's cardiovascular health, including those living with ATTRCM, through our commitment to improving awareness and diagnosis and investing in new research and solutions.